As you gain more experience, you change as a person. You become greater than you are now. But wouldn't it be nice if we could take that greater future self and bring that person into the present moment? I will help you do that. And all you have to do is lie back and listen. Instead of giving you some kind of made-up induction, I think it's best that I simply talk to you about evolution. Much like your teacher may have taught you about evolution. And you see, if you were to listen to me about that, it would be quite hard to stay awake while I explain that. It's much like if your professor or your teacher were to talk about evolution or any topic, really. I could talk to you about pretty much anything, and you would probably fall asleep. That's kind of just how things are. It opens up your mind. It is fun and relaxing to learn. Learning new things is sometimes even boring. Yeah. That's right, even the most fun lessons sometimes become a bit boring until it just feels like you don't care about anything in the world. Sometimes you are not challenged enough and you get bored, you get lazy, and that's fine, because today, just for today, you can relax so much as you listen to me, that you could even fall asleep. Now, a lot of the time, I tell you to pay attention. That's usually when I want you to stay awake. And usually it's best for you to stay awake. But just for now, it's fine if you happen to fall asleep. That doesn't mean we have to force it. You can just let that happen when it happens. That might be right away. It might be later. After all, we all get a little tired sometimes, especially after those first few minutes. Everyone gets tired when they are 
learning, a new lesson. Sometimes I think that is the neural system needing to recover a little bit. and it needs to fall asleep and rest sometimes. It can make you sleepy sometimes. It can make you feel better to really relax now about that evolution. Wouldn't it be nice to be more evolved, more forward? Wouldn't it be nice to be one of those people that are very far forward, perhaps thousands of years forward, or perhaps just a few seconds forward? Can you Contemplate what it's like to be that way. I'll give you a moment. What if I told you that there is no correct direction of evolution? What might evolution look like to you? with you as a more evolved human. I want you to just imagine for a few moments what you would be like as a very evolved person. Evolution has no wrong direction. It simply goes in the direction that it needs to go. For you to thrive, and I don't mean for you to just survive, the most evolved way for you to be is for you to really thrive.
what might your life look like thriving? I'd like you to consider that and imagine that it is a little bit more like that. That means you getting all that you could ever want in every single moment. It's not always like that, and it's fine that it isn't. But can you imagine that little bit more of that vibe. Perhaps you living the way that you would like to live. What are some ways that you would like to live? What are you doing in that life? Everyone wants something different. Many people share their wildest desires with me. They tell me all about the many strange things that they really, really like. And I love that. Perhaps you would like to share. Well, that's something for another time. But for now, just remember that it's okay to be unique. And it's okay to be just like everybody else. I'm talking about your evolution, not anyone else's. So I want you to imagine what you might be like in your most evolved form. That just means a version of you that is suitable to where you are at any moment. That's a version of you thriving.
It's okay if you get lost or you don't know what to think. It's okay if your mind wanders. It's just fine. You can let that happen. You can let your mind go on its own way. You can let your thoughts go wherever they like, just for now. Just for this moment, you can think about whatever you are thinking. Go ahead, let the thoughts happen. We don't need to make them go away. There is nothing that we need to do. Just relax for a moment. Breathe slowly. And let what happens happen. Yes, that means anything. I want you to allow yourself to be limitless. Because that means anything could happen. What if you could let anything happen. This is much like simply learning from a teacher. But I don't mind if you retain the info or not. It's fine if you don't remember it. You will not be tested on the content because it's very hard to pay attention to everything, and honestly, it's not important. So if you find yourself having a hard time remembering, then that's okay. For example, you might not remember what I was talking about 11 minutes ago. But does it really matter? 
I know that you don't remember that. And it's okay, because it doesn't matter. In this moment, nothing really matters. And that kind of feels good. You might be thinking about a lot of things, but they are quite unimportant. They don't matter. And you can see that now. If something was really that important, you would probably tend to it right away. Otherwise, you know, it's really not that important. Think about this. What if a future excellent version of you came to the present moment and stayed there with you? What might they be like? Is this person smarter? In a good way? What if you became that future evolved version of yourself? I want you to imagine that this is you. Be that version of you just for a few moments and feel what that's like. Notice how you react to things. Notice what your general default state is like. What are you thinking about in your day-to-day -day life? What are you doing? What kind of things do you like? What kind of places do you like to go? I want you to think about these things. And remember, there is no way to get this wrong. evolution of you in this moment.
see yourself as you really are. This is you, and you are in the past now, and you retain only memories from this part of your life. In fact, you might notice that if you look or try to look into the future where you are from, you'll find that you can just barely see it. As if you could see something on the horizon, but it's really hard to see. So you might remember much of the past. You see a whole lot of the present moment. But you are from the future. A pretty good future. As things usually get better, honestly. There is quite a history of things getting better with time. And that is universal. Yeah, it's not always ideal, but if you wait long enough, it always gets even better than it is right now. Sometimes we think to ourselves, how could life get any better than this? But you know what? It always does. So sorry to bring you back to this present moment, but you are going to live out this life in exactly the way that you would have wanted. Now I know that your ideas of past, present, and future are getting quite muddled. After all, sometimes you think about the past, even though it's not even happening. And sometimes you think about the future when it's not even certain. So that's just one of the side effects of being you. Your mind is imperfect, like the rest of us, and so when things don't make sense, that's fine. I just want you to make the choices that you really like to make. That's easy. Live like you do. Live exactly the way that you would. I know that's quite strange advice to make the choices that you would make. So, I want you to just try to remember this one thing. Live 
exactly as you live. Do exactly as you do. I know that's really simple, but let's do that. Now I'm going to let you simply return back to whatever it is you need to do today. And I'm sure you will listen again some other time. Now let's not just hope for this to work. Decide to make your future self your current self. That is all you need to do. Now if you need to reach me, you can find me at my website linked in the description.